Oh, there we go, we're in art. Okay, so good morning, everyone. Welcome to story time. Um, I'm going to wait and see if anyone. Oh, yeah, you think you've got. Um, I'm going to wait and see if anyone wants to have. Um, if you pop your name in the comments, if you want me to say hello in the hello song to anyone, just pop your name in the comments. To let me know um, what the name is that you want me to say hello to and I'm going to get going. Today I'm doing um, a few stories that I've done before, um, just a little collection so I'll be doing three little pigs, then I'll be doing hello Lorene, <laughs> um, I'll be doing hi uh, Seth, I'll be doing stone cutter and then I'll be doing Billy Goat to Gruff. Now three little pigs and Billy Goat to Gruff have bits that you'll be able to join in with Okay, Jude, Harvey and Ollie, excellent, I will get to you in a second. Um, and the stone cutter, there'll be actions as well. Okay, so uh, let's get going. Hello, hello for story time, story time, story time. Hello, hello for story time, hello friends. Hello to Seth for story time, story time, story time. Hello to Seth for story time, hello Seth. Hello to Jude for story time, story time, story time. Hello to Jude for story time. Hello Jude. Hello to Harvey for story time, story time, story time. Hello to Harvey for story time. Hello Harvey. Hello to Ollie for story time, story time, story time. Hello to Ollie for story time. Hello Ollie. And I think that's everyone. So now we'll get going. So for this story, um, there's a little dance that the uh, the wolf likes to do, and you can do it with me. And it goes like this. Um, <laughs> with a huff puff here and a huff puff there, here a huff, there a puff, everywhere a huff puff. I'll blow your house in by the hair on my chin. That's what I'm all about. Yeah. So if you've got those actions, you can do those along with me when the wolf sings his little song and it's whenever he goes for a walk. <sighs> okay. The three little pigs lived in Oink Town with their mother pig. And one day mother pig turned to the three little pigs and she said, it's time you went and got yourself some houses. Off you go. So the first little pig decided that he would make his house out of straw because he knew that straw was light and cheap, most importantly. So off he went to collect his straw. The second little pig, now he thought, that's just nonsense. Straw will blow away with the first wind. I'm going to make my house out of sticks because sticks can't bend like straw, but they're still quite cheap. So off he went to collect up some sticks. And the third little pig, well, he had done some studying and some reading, and he had learned that the best thing to build your house out of is bricks. So off he went to buy some bricks with his well saved up money. and the pigs brought their stuff together and the first pig built his house and he built it in a day because it was made of straw and then he got inside his house and he watched as his other brothers had to keep building their houses and he thought he had done well building a house in a day and it was so nice his house it was nice and light so the next pig who had the sticks he built his house in a week and he was very proud of himself he shut his door and he sat inside and he thought I have done well my house does not bend like my brothers and I only did it in a week and the third brother well he brick after brick after brick after brick after brick after brick after brick, after brick. it took him a whole month to build his house but when he was done it was perfect 
it and he sat inside and he thought I have done it well and it was just happened to be that that day that he finished building his house was the day that the wolf bell chimed in Oik Town and when that wolf bell chimed in Oink Town, that meant that the big bad wolf was on his way. So all the pigs in Oink Town got into their houses and locked their doors. And along came the wolf. Are you ready to do the song with me? Okay, so we're going to roll forward and roll back. That's pretty much it. Okay, so the wolf was coming along the road with a huff puff here and a huff puff there. Here a huff. There a puff everywhere, a huff puff, I blow your house in by the hair on my chin. That's what I'm all about. Yeah. And he got to the first new house and he looked it up and down and he thought, ooh, this is the house for me. So he marched up to the house and he knocked on the door. And, in, and he said his words, and everybody must know what he said. So let's do this all together. Are you ready? He said, little pig, little pig, let me in. And the pig inside went, no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. And the wolf said, everybody knows this. Let's do this together. And he said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And the little pig inside said, I'd like to see you try. So, ready? We're going to... He puffed and he puffed and he blew that house all the way down the road. And because it was made of hay, it fell apart easy as that. And the little pig inside went, ah! And ran next door to his brother's house. <laughs> and the wolf began his walk again. Are you ready? With a huff, puff. Here and a huff puff there, here a huff there, a puff everywhere, a huff puff, I blow your house in by the hairs on my chin, that's what I'm all about. Yeah. And he got to the door and he knocked on the door and he said all together, little pig, little pig, let me in. And then two pigs inside said, no, not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins. And then he said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And they said, we'd like to see you try. This one's made of sticks. And so he filled himself up, doubled as much. And then he blew as hard as he could. And the sticks wiggled and shook. And then they fell down and rolled down the road. And the two pigs inside went ah! and ran as fast as they could to their brother next door in his house of bricks. And so the wolf is going to walk again. Are you ready? Last time. With a huff puff here and a huff puff there. Here a huff, there a puff, everywhere a huff puff. I blow your house in by the hair on my chin. That's what I'm all about. And he got to the door and he, and what did he say? He said, little pig, little pig, let me in. And the pigs inside said, no, not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins. And he said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And the pigs inside said, we'd like to see you try. This one's made of bricks. And so he filled himself up. Three times. And then he blew as hard as he could, but it didn't do any good. And he blew so hard that he blew himself right up onto the roof. And then he saw the chimney. So he jumped down the chimney, but the three little pigs were waiting with a big pot. And he fell poof, into the pot and they put the lid on. And then they had to decide where they're going to eat him up or there they're going to give him a good talking to and tell him it wasn't nice to blow people's houses down and let him go on his way. And I'm going to let you decide how this story ends.
did they eat him up and that was the end of the big bad wolf or did they let him go either way they ended the story as everyone does in stories they ended up happily ever after and that is my three little pig turtles uh, oh hello emily good to see you um, and mia hello to you as well so the next story I'm going to do is one that I did way back at the beginning and it is one of my favourite stories of all time and I love telling this story and there's lots of actions for you to do along with me. So this is called The Stonecutter and it's a story from Japan. At the foot of a great mountain lived a stonecutter and he lived in a one room and every day he would walk up a huge mountain. He would pick up his axe and he would tap, tap, tap away at the mountain. And it was hard work. And it hurt his back. And one day, he was at the foot of the mountain. Tap, tap. I'll do this with me, ready? Tap, 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 tap. Tapping away at the foot of the mountain. When he looked around, and he saw that there was nobody else working. Everybody had stopped. Hey, he said, where's everybody gone? And then he saw them all standing at the side of the road, so he went over, and his friend said to him, haven't you heard? The Lord Mayor's coming past. We've all got five minutes to have a cup of tea and a break. Come join us. So the stonecutter put down his pickaxe, took a cup of tea, and sipped. And do this with me, ready? <sighs> nice cup of tea, that. And he looked down the road, and coming up the road was a procession of big, strong men, and they were carrying on their shoulders a kind of chair on legs. And sitting on that chair was a man dressed in very nice clothes, and he was waving down at everyone. He was waving at Jude and Seth and Harvey and Ollie and he was waving at Emily and Mia and they were all waving back. Hello, hello, hello. And the stonecutter looked up with his tea and he looked up at this Lord Mayor sitting on his chair waving at everyone. And he thought to himself, that looks like a pretty nice life. I wish I was the Lord Mayor. Just like that, everything around him changed. And the stonecutter was no longer at the side of the road. He was sitting on a chair being carried down the road. And he was waving at Jude and Harvey and Ollie and Emily and Mia and Seth and Kylie and Marie as well. And they were waving back. And he had become. And they took him all the way past the mountain into town into a huge house. Humongous house. Ten bedrooms. There was a television in every bedroom and those Xbox things that everyone liked. <laughs> and the fridge was full of food. The stonecutter liked being the Lord Mayor. He could do whatever he wanted and he never had to bend over and hurt his back again. But then one day there was a call. Stonecutter Lord Mayor picked up the phone. It was the king. Do you want me to what? Oh, do I have to? The king demanded that the Stonecutter Lord Mayor go to the palace with all the other Lord Mayors and bow down in front of him. He was that kind of king. So, the Stonecutter Lord Mayor got in his carriage. You can do this with me. And went to the castle. And when he got there, all the other Lord Mayors were bowing down to the king. So he got down on his knees and he bowed down too. And the king was sitting up on a beautiful throne. Now bowing down hurt his back. He didn't like it. And when he looked up at the king on his beautiful throne, where women were feeding him grapes and chocolate, the stonecutter thought to himself, that looks like a pretty nice life. I wish I was the king. 
just like that, everything around him changed. And the stone cutter was sitting on the beautiful throne. And there was a woman feeding him mm, delicious grapes and chocolate. And it was good fun being a king, even better than being a Lord Mayor. Because as king, you can do anything you want. He had a whole army at his disposal. He would send them down to the beach just to watch them march and then send them all the way back just because he liked to. And he would have big parties and he would stay up all night long. But every night, even though he was having so much fun and everyone was partying and he had his best music on, the sun would go down. And the party would have to end and he would have to go to bed. And it's not fair. I don't want to go to bed. And every morning when he was snuggled up, <laughs> nice and cosy, the sun would come up. And he would have to get up. Oh, it's not fair. I don't want to get up. I want to stay in bed. But he couldn't do anything about it. And the stonecutter king realised one day that the sun had more power than him as king. That's not on, said the stonecutter king. That sun has more power than me. I wish I was the sun. Just like that. Everything around him changed. And the stonecutter found himself up, up, high in the sky. We're going to all be the sun together. Like this, shining down on everybody, making them all really hot. And it was good fun being of the sun because he could see everything and he could shine down on people and make them really 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 hot and make them take their um, jackets off that was fun and then one day he was shining down on everyone watching as a little boy and a little girl had a little fight and he was wondering which one was going to win because his money was on the little girl she was pulling his hair he was really enjoying this fight when suddenly something floated in front of him and he couldn't see what happened in the fight. It was a cloud, a big soft cloud. And the stonecutter son thought to himself, hang on a minute, that's not right. That cloud has power over me, the sun. I wish I was a cloud. And just like that, everything around him changed. And the stonecutter became a cloud, a big floaty cloud. If we were in the room together, we would all be floaty clouds. So I'm hoping you're doing the same thing. We'd be floaty clouds. Now it was good fun being a floaty cloud because you could move through the air this way and that way and go wherever you wanted. But the best thing about being a cloud is that you can suck yourself up with lots and lots of moisture and water and then you can rain down on everyone so that's what the stone cutter cloud did he rained down on Jude and he rained down on Harvey and Ollie and he rained down on Emily and he rained down on Seth and Mia and he got them all wet and he liked that that was fun but one day he was floating through the sky having the time of his life going wherever he wanted to, when suddenly he came to something he couldn't get past. He couldn't go over it, he couldn't go under it, and he couldn't go this way around it, and he couldn't go that way around it. It was a huge mountain. And the stone cutter cloud thought to himself, that's not fair. That mountain has power over me. A cloud. I wish I was a mountain. And just around him changed and the stone cutter became a mountain okay if you can be a mountain with me be a tall mountain he was the biggest tall mountain for anyone to see and it was good fun being a mountain because he could see all the way over the horizon and people would crawl up all the way to try and get to his summit but they couldn't get all the way to the top because he was so tall and he was strong and he had his feet firmly in the ground and then one day he felt something right down at his foot foot of the mountain and he looked down and there was a tiny tiny little man and he was tap tap tapping away and the stone cut of mountain looked down and he said that's not fair that little man has power over me the mountain i wish i was the stone cutter and just like that 
everything around had changed. And the stone cutter was right back where he started at the foot of a great mountain, living in a one-room hovel. And you know what? After all of that, after being all the different things, the stone cutter realised that he pretty much had a good life. And from then on, he never again wished to be anything other than happy. <sighs> That's the end of the stone cutter. I hope you enjoyed that story. I do quite like telling that story. Okay, so we just have time for my third story today. And my third story today is one that you all probably know. It's Billy Goat's Graph. Um, now, there is going to be a bit of sensory that you can do with this, so I'll just talk you through that. So the three Billy Goats in this story have different ways of moving. There's wee Billy Goat's Gruff, and he goes, Hi, Theo. Okay, we're just about to get into the three Billy Goat's Gruff. And um, so the first one has wee little hooves, and he goes, uh, Clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity 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 clop. Now, if you're doing this as sensory, then just with fingers, you can tap. Um, the second Billy Goat's Gruff is big Billy Goat's Gruff, and he has bigger hooves. And he goes trippity chop, chip chop, chip 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 chop. And so you can do a tap with a finger. So the first one is with the finger, the second one is up. And then the third Billy Goat's Gruff is big, big Billy Goat's Gruff. And he has big hooves. And he stomps when he moves around. So he goes stomp, 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 stomp. And you can do that with a big stomp. Um, so we've got a tap. We've got a little bit bigger and then the stomp. Okay. And if you're joining in and you can, then you can do the clippity clop and the trippity chop and the trippity trap and the stompity stomp with me. <laughs> so this story, as I've said, is about three Billy Goats Gruff. And are you ready to do this with me? The first Billy Goats Gruff is wee Billy Goats Gruff. Wee, and he goes clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop. And the second Billy Goat's Gruff is Big Billy Goat's Gruff. And he is a bit bigger and he has bigger hooves and he goes trippity chop, trippity chop, trip, trip, trippity chop. And the third Billy Goat's Gruff, well, he's even bigger. He's Big, Big Billy Goat's Gruff. And he goes stumpity stump, stumpity stump, stumpity stump, stumpity stump. And these three Billy Goat's Gruffs live in a lovely green, green pasture. And they spend all their days munching away at the green, green pasture. Munchy, munch, 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 munch. But one day they munchy, 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 munched their way through the whole field and there was no green, green grass left. So, Big, Big Billy Goat's Gruff had a plan. He went stumpity, stump, stumpity, stump, stumpity, 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 stump all the way over to the hedge. And then Big Billy Goat's Gruff, trippity chop, trippity chop, trippity 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 chop, over to the hedge too, and then trippity chop right onto his back. And then wee Billy Goat's Gruff said, wait for me! <laughs> clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity 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 clop, clippity clop! And he jumped onto Big Billy Goat's Gruff's back. So we had Big, Big Billy Goat's Gruff with Big Billy Goat's Gruff and wee Billy Goat's Gruff on the top. And because they were so tall, big, wee Billy Goat's Gruff could just see over the top of the hedge. And he looked over the top of the hedge and he saw a windy, windy river that flowed fast and free. And beyond the windy, windy river that flowed fast and free, he saw a green, green pasture moon. <gasps> oh, brother, don't look so good, he said. And he jumped down with a clippity clop. And then big Billy Goat's Gruff jumped down with a trippity chop. And the three Billy Goats Gruff munched their way through the hedge, munchity munch, munchity munch, munchity 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 munch, into the next field and down to the windy windy river that flowed fast and free. Now, they could not go across this river without being washed away, so they had to go over the bridge. And I don't know if you're aware of this, but bridges and stories quite often have things living underneath them, and this bridge was no different. This bridge had a troll living underneath it. A nasty troll that liked to eat folks whole. 
And so the three billy goats had to come up with a plan. And their plan was quite simple. They would send the smallest one first. So the smallest one, wee billy goats gruff, made his way over to the bridge, a little bit concerned about the troll, but pretty sure that he could get to those really, really fast just me. And off he went, ready? He went, clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity 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 clop. And he stopped in the middle of the bridge because he heard a sound. He heard a hey, ho, out a row. Um, a troll gonna eat you whole. And the troll had a knife and a fork and a little napkin and he was ready to gobble up that wee billy goat scruff. But the wee big gilly goat scruff said, ho, 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 don't eat me. I'm just wee. I'm the bag of bones. Wait and you'll get a much bigger prize. My brother is twice the size of me. And the troll frowned, scratched his head with his fork a bit furtively, and thought to himself, a goat that was twice the size was quite a prize. All right, he said, off you go. And he gave the wee bit of gruff a wave and let him go off, and then rolled back to his little cave under the bridge to wait for the next one. And wee Billy Goat's gruff, clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity 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 clop, all the way to the green green pastures new and began to munch do munch, munch do munch, munch do munch, munch do munch, his way through. And it was delicious because everybody knows that grass on the other side is greener and more tasty. So, the big Billy Goat's gruff was the next to go across the bridge. He could see his wee Billy Goat's gruff brother eating up all the grass and he was eager to get over. So, ready? Trippity chop, trippity chop, trippity chop, trippity trippity chop. He stopped in the middle of the bridge because he heard the hey, ho, out of row, I'm a troll gonna eat you whole. And this time he had the knife and the fork and the napkin and a little bit of pepper and salt to eat up the goat with. But, big Billy Goat's gruff said, whoa, 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 you don't want to eat me. My brother will be along in a minute and he's twice the size. Quite a prize. And the troll scratched his head with his fork and his eyes grew larger and grew when he thought that there was going to be a goat twice the size of the big Billy Goat's gruff. All right, off you go, he said with a wave. And he rolled back to his cave under the bridge. And so, big Billy Goat's gruff, trippity chop, trippity chop, trippity 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 chop, all the way to the green green pastures new and began to munch 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 along with wee Billy Goat's gruff. And so, now it was big, big Billy Goat's gruff's turn. And big Billy Goat's gruff made his way over. Now, he never did anything quick this, so we'll do this slow. He went stompity stomp, stompity stomp, stompity stomp, stompity stomp. In the middle of the bridge, and he heard the hey ho out of row. I'm a troll gonna eat you whole. And the troll had his knife and his fork and his napkin and his salt and his pepper, and his eyes grew wide when he saw big, big Billy Goat's gruff. He licked his lips and his stomach rumbled just thinking about what a great prize a goat that size would be. But what he hadn't realised was that big, big Billy Goat's gruff had two very big, big, big horns and he put his head down and he went stomp, scrape, stomp, scrape and he charged across the bridge and bashed that troll who went high into the air with a roll, woo, all the way off the bridge into the windy windy river that flowed fast and free and it flushed him away and he was never seen again. Now the big, big Billy Goat's gruff, stumpty stump, stumpty stump, stumpty 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 stump, all the way to the green green pastures new and began to munch do munch, munch do munch on those delicious green green pastures new and he and his three brothers never heard of the troll again. And that's the end of my three Billy Goat's gruff. So I just have a quick time uh, for Goodbye. So I'll say goodbye to everybody that's here. I'm not going to be here 
next week I'm going to be coming once a month now um, as I have to go away and find and learn lots of new stories so um, uh, just keep an eye out for when that will be so goodbye goodbye from story time story time story time goodbye goodbye from story time goodbye Jude Goodbye, goodbye from story time, story time, story time. Goodbye, goodbye from story time, goodbye, Seth. Goodbye, goodbye from story time, story time, story time. Goodbye, goodbye from story time, goodbye, Harvey. Goodbye, goodbye from story time, story time, story time. Goodbye, goodbye from story time, goodbye, Ollie. Goodbye, goodbye from story time, story time, story time. Goodbye, goodbye from story time, goodbye, Emily. <laughs> I think I've got Ollie wrong. Goodbye, goodbye from story time, story time, story time. Goodbye, goodbye from story time, goodbye, Ollie. Goodbye, goodbye from story time, story time, story time. Goodbye, goodbye from story time, goodbye, Mia. And Theo, I think, is the only one left. Goodbye, goodbye from story time, story time, story time. Goodbye, goodbye from story time, goodbye, Theo. I think that's everybody. If there's anybody else, just throw your name in there and I'll do a goodbye. I've just gone a little bit over time, so, um, but I think I've done everyone. Okay, thank you, goodbye, everyone, and um, I'll see you again at some